Hey, I'm Steve from CME CNC, and so today we've had a, a bar feeder that's very simple. Go down, and it has a, a cylinder in it with a simple piston that pushes the bar into the machine. And so we were looking for this uh, cup seal. They have both worn out. There's two in the assembly. And anyways, we were looking on the typical places uh, that you buy industrial seals. And what we've ended up with is not being able to find it. So what we're doing today is we're going to draw a cup seal in our CAD program and basically just replace this part in a matter of less than an hour. Um, I drew a profile that's approximately correct with the seal that came out of the bar feeder. So what I've done is I've reverse engineered the seal by taking my uh, calipers and just measured it up. Then we will revolve the model and we have a 3D printable cup seal that should drop right in and replace the original part that is wore out. It's taken almost 20 years for this part to wear out. So I'd say we did pretty good. I export the model as an STL. At this point, we're ready to go into a slicing program. And what we have here is not quite oriented right, so I just select it and we orient it downward. So I'm going to drag it up towards the front of the build plate on the Artemis. And what we're going to do, we have a profile on our GitHub account that is uh, readily available. You can go to github.com forward slash cmecnc and find these shared slicing profiles. And I have a 0.7 millimeter nozzle on this Artemis that prints a TPU, thermoplastic urethane. Um, and so what we'll do, I'll take that profile and I'm simply going to prepare the model and it slices it. I'm going to review that slice in my slicing program here. And as I look at the layers, it looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and save the file. And then I'm going to go to my printer, which is online here. Say upload G-code file, and we're gonna find that G-code we just saved out of our slicing program. And it was a very small part, so it took no time. It took very little time to upload. So I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna right click and say print file. So now the printer behind me has begun to print the part. I am going to just manually purge a little bit. Don't necessarily have to. Um, this profile does a, a large extrusion right before it begins. TPU is extremely durable has a fairly low melting point, but an extremely good layer to layer bond. Start to finish uh, to reverse engineer the cup seal and print the parts. Uh, we're looking at um, about 25 minutes to 30 minutes. Okay, so I'm out here with the assembly and it, the bearing assembly is what the air pressure is behind and pushes the bar into the collet so we can machine the bearing sleeves that we use as our linear motion. The bearing assembly for our linear motion uh, system for a Rostock Max and soon to be a replacement for the linear rails of the Artemis and what's on our new Boss printer is what we nicknamed the Cheapskate. It originally uh, came from the rollerblade bearings, um, but what it, it ended up solving for us was a, a cost and reliability problem. Um, inexpensive linear rails tend to have a higher failure rate. In, since 2012, we've been selling our linear motion system that has had very few problems and is a very high uptime, high reliability. It's really been a cornerstone of our Rostock Max series product. So, this bar feeder is very important. We have one of the old cup seals we're going to um, replace with our newly printed cup seals. There's two in this assembly. So let's, let's go ahead and start putting some of this back together. Nice snug fit. Dimensionally, uh, it's just turned out very nice. Um, 
this component goes on and then another cup seal behind it. We have a, the cone por uh, portion of this assembly. We have a bearing, spacer, screw. All right, end cap component. Let's go back over to our bar feeder and install it. So we have a very inexpensive bar feeder. It's just a tube of steel that this uh, bearing assembly uh, slides in. Um, it's been 21 years. I don't quite remember where I originally purchased it from, <laughs> but it's been a great bar feeder, um, but it's a little noisy. So we keep this machine in the back of our, our plant. So I'm just going to install this such. Okay, it slid in very nicely. And I have the air pressure turned on. I'm gonna bypass the safety here and just to show you how, how good it works. So with very little effort, well, I don't even think we reached 10 PSI of air pressure. Um, so this assembly is complete. We're ready to put it together and get back into production on our bearing sleeves. So hopefully in this short video, you've gotten to see how a real world industrial application um, is applied to 3D printing today. Um, we were able to keep this machine in service uh, instead of it being down for a, an entire day. I was able to draw and print two parts within the hour come back here, reassemble the pushing mechanism, and um, get the machine back online. So I'm Steve Wygant from CME CNC, and thanks for watching.